Okay folks, get ready for the next 55 ton, because here it is, as you already know from the video description, it's the Griffin. Uh, this mech looks fucking awesome. I love, I love the sort of goldfish ball head, the antenna, I love the shoulder pads, it's, it is an amazing looking mech. Definitely, definitely my first choice of medium. Whenever I'm playing in a group and people need, uh, you know, need a medium in there, I will always be the one I pick. I'll say this about other mediums, it's like the Stormcrow for me, this is just one you have to play. Um, the Griffin, as you saw from that build, uh, I'm using a slightly slightly tweaked build, and yes, I apologise, I have ammo in the legs, I have since fixed that, I forgot that I had left that as an old habit. But yes, uh, it's a single ERP PC in the right arm, and an LRM-15 with Artemis, not an LRM-10. Um, I figure that Star League tech is a bit lighter, and I'm running an XL engine because I've got some phenomenal speed with jump jets. Yeah, it's going to be an LRM-15. You need the extra punch when you're using a two-weapon loadout in a mech that could quite easily carry more weapons. Um, with the SRM hit registration fix, I know I've mentioned this in the last few videos, but it, it's been a big deal for a lot of builds. Um, this mech can run several SRM4s or 6s and be incredibly deadly. Uh, you would be hard pushed to find many uh, that don't uh, take a critical amount of damage from multiple SRM hits like that and the Griffin can deliver. Um, it works in an LRM role as well, although you don't see them as often as you see the SRM builds. Uh, but in this series it sticks pretty much to what came with the mech with a few changes here and there. And yes, uh, I tend to run this as a range support, so I'll use the LRM-15 to keep the heads down, trying to do as much damage as possible, and then the ERPPC to do some little snipey damage uh, as when I can. I have a lot of maneuverability, uh, granted from the pretty big XL engine, I think it's a 320 I'm running in this, and the multiple jump jets, it allows me to very quickly get around, you can see just how fast I am here. Uh, uh, being able to basically stop on a dime, uh, being able to turn very rapidly, and I can reacquire a lot to move to different positions and when I need. The heat is not neutral. Uh, the ERPPC will ramp up the heat, but you could probably tweak any Griffin build. If you're just running this build, for instance, you probably could tweak it to get better heat, um, heat management out of it. I think I went more for ammo for the LRM-15. Uh, I think I'm running four tons, I think it's two in each leg. In this video it's since been moved into the torso, uh, so as uh, not to basically be breaking tabletop rules. Uh, yeah, does the mech have any downsides? Personally for me, no, but looking at it strictly uh, from a gameplay point of view, it's got a pretty big round target on one shoulder in the in that LRM rack. Uh, so if anyone is mounting SRMs or LRMs, yeah, you're gonna get um, that's gonna be a prime target for any snipers. Uh, be aware that it actually sticks up above your head, so you can still get hit if you're not careful uh, when you're trying to hide behind cover. Um, you can use the left arm as a shield, uh, very similar to the Centurion. Uh, the mech has um, some pretty decent effects going on there. Now, I do have to apologise, this part of the video is an issue that's been pissing me off with MechWarrior for uh, a few weeks now, and it's this. This is rubber banding, this is the lag spike that sometimes hit, and yes, I did just walk back. And unfortunately, I lived. Uh, <laughs> I was going to be very, very pissed off if this rubber banding had actually killed me and prevented me from getting this video. Luckily, I survive. Um, but that might be one of the issues. I really hope EGI fix that sometime soon. I'd actually forgotten now recording this that that, that, that was going to happen. New target. Okay. I do want to edit. I could have edited it out, uh, but it was such a short amount of lag, and um, it's a great way of just being able to say, you know, this can happen. And it happens to everyone, doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter if you're in the States, in Canada, if you're in Europe, South Africa, uh, the Far East, doesn't matter. It, it will hit you, and 
Uh, I don't think anyone is 100% sure on what is exactly causing it. It's probably something server side, but specifically server side, we don't know. That aside, uh, Griffin, yeah, he's got a few height issues regarding hiding beyond, ter uh, beyond terrain, so be careful of that. Um, XL engines are recommended, but be aware, unlike the Shadowhawk, its left and right torsos are a lot easier to take out on a Griffin. Uh, the hitboxes are a bit bigger. Uh, benefits, obviously, big missile boat, not so much on the energy though. Um, so if you like your lasers, you like your PPCs, don't bother. Uh, unless you just want to run run the one PPC. Uh, no ballistics in any of the Griffin builds, uh, no variant of the chassis has that. Uh, purely energy and missile. But, outside of that, really, really good mech. Um, definitely one of my picks as best. Uh, best max, well, there's a, there's a triple AC shadow there for a second. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, definitely one of the max I would pick over a lot of the other mediums currently in the game. It's, I think it's very cool looking, quite fast, maneuverable. Again, 55 ton doesn't give it a huge amount of armor, so uh, don't run it head first in. Uh, Fight, you will get you will get dropped very quickly. The usual thing now we're just hunting down the last person on the map, which is always a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend you buying this mech, trying it out, loving it as much as I do, and uh, coming back to comment. Uh, comment here, tell, uh, just, uh, you know, share the love, share the Griffin love, that's what you need to do. Get on the forums and get, tell everyone, go run a Griffin. It's one of the best looking mechs, one of the best redesigns. I mean, this was an unseen mech. Uh, you can see the original artwork on Sana, uh, which still looked really good. If I had to pick one of the two, I'd pick the original artwork, but this, as far as the redesign goes, is very, very good. Um, I love the head design, as you can see, uh, the head is... Not too obtrusive. You see a lot of those metal bars uh, when you look at it in the Mac lab, but yeah, you've got a pretty decent field of view. Uh, probably the only thing that would slightly annoy anyone is the whirring noise whenever the torso Target twists. It's destroyed. a bit like sort of like every time you move around. So that 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 could wind you up if you pay attention to it. Try not to pay attention. To it. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Um, yeah, uh, final 55 tonner is the Wolverine. So, yeah, I uh, look forward to that, folks. See you around.